Buari is finally advised to speak and discuss with Nandekanu instead of using military forces. Ohanese chieftains claims. A chieftain of an Igbo social cultural group, Ohanese Indigo, has advised President Mohamed Buari to discuss with the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Nandekanu and also the Islamic movement in Nigeria and other agitators. Ohanese chieftain Chus Ibegu suggested that President Mohamed Buhari should organize a meeting with Inamdekanu instead of using the security operatives to fight his people. He added that as a good leader, President Mohamed Buhari should ask Inamdekanu how Nigerians can be better and then look for better ways to solve our problems instead of Biafran agitation. Chuks Ibebu also added that if President Bari calls Namdekano for a meeting, the leader of IPOP would respect him as a father who cares for his people. While speaking about the Islamic movement in Nigeria, the Oranese chief made it that the presidency can discuss on how to move the nation forward instead of separation. Boko people should also be called upon, should also be known that they too are also a part of the country. Our Anese chief then advised President Prairie to invite machineries that will crush all of these issues. My dear viewers, that is the truth. That is the truth. There is nothing um, behind this very truth. You see, um, it is Nigerian government that is getting the IPOPs, the Biafrans wrong. They are the ones getting them wrong. Biafrans are not out for any war. Neither are they out to cause any mayhem or or uh, unnecessary menace. What these people are asking for is a republic of their own, and nothing more than that. They are not out to challenge anybody. Since Unam the Kano started this pursuit for Biafran freedom. I tell you that it has been a peaceful approach all along. All along, peaceful approach, peaceful agitation. They have not gone out to kill or attack anyone. They have not. Okay, look at the issue of this uh, insecurity in the Southeast. If you say that you want to carry out a proper investigation of it, you will see that all this why that they have been pointing accusing finger at IPOP, you will see that IPOP doesn't even have a single hand, I'm telling you, in it. Everybody know, know, know about the initiator of this uh, of, of this of this insecurity issue in the southeast. Everybody knows about it. Uzodima is the initiator now. The very moment Uzodima started deploying soldiers to the southeast, that moment southeast began to experience unrest. Do you understand? You open the door for the soldiers to come in. You think you can be able to close it up? You open the door. Do you think you can be able to close it up? You have you, you have you have you have told them that they are welcomed. Anytime. That's what you said. And to Uzodima, he keep worsening the situation. Worsening it. D despite being a governor of a state. Uzodima, well, just like um, a, a friend will always say that Bwari is a punishment to us in Nigeria because of our sins. 
That is how Uzodima is a punishment to the people of Imo because of their sins. So not until we are out to repent from our sins, that is when people, or these people can now be taken, redrawn. You see that? So all these things are what we are actually looking at and be saying that, okay, um, why, why can't we go, into, go on a round table? See, not only our Nese that uh, that has advised Gary on this same issue. So, you know, you know, UK diplomats, UK diplomats and um, ambassadors have called Gary severally, you know, if even Gary himself has been invited up in abroad, you know, he, he has been invited, he has been advised on this same issue. Donald Trump, before he handed over to Joe Biden, he called Bari, he told him, look, what is happening in your country? He gave him so many advice. He told him, he gave him, even gave him automatum to put it, put off this insecurity issue. But because of the kind of person that Bari is, he refused to listen. Yeah. He refused to listen. And that is why till this very moment we are still facing what we are facing. Yeah, we are still facing what we are facing. And I don't think we can be free from it. We can't. We can't. You understand? So, my dear viewers, let us begin to tell ourselves the truth. Let's begin to tell ourselves the truth though. Because <laughs> if the president Mohamed Buhari, before he leaves office, doesn't find a remedy to this situation, if another Motana comes into power, Nigeria, Nigeria will turn to a bloody country. Yes. That is what is going to happen, except we seek for the forgiveness, forgiveness from God. All right, let me hear from you from the outside to know what your own take concerning this baby. Don't forget to leave there below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get.